There's a couple people, players, coaches, that are surrounding this Pittsburgh Steelers team in 2024 that I think really understand that they have to grasp this last possible chance to really be ultra successful and reach the mountaintop of the NFL and show everybody why they deserve to be immortalized in Canton, Ohio. Welcome back to Mike Drop Sports, everybody. I'm Jason. Let's dive in here on a Friday. I appreciate you coming back and watching the show. Uh, thank you again. I appreciate it so very much. Let's dive in here. We'll first start with Mike Tomlin. Mike Tomlin, the entrenched head coach, been here forever in a day. Has not really had any real success here in the last decade or so. And I think Mike Tomlin understood this offseason. I think he really, after the 2023 season, this is uh, just speculation from an outsider's point of view. And I don't think anybody really knows this. But I think that the Pittsburgh Steelers and Mike Tomlin really evaluated what was going on here after the 2023 season. After that loss in Buffalo, Mike Tomlin in particular, I think Mike Tomlin really did a lot of self-reflection. I think he went back, looked at where, you know, there were places in time in which he did super, super good and what he had in place to be successful and what allowed him to shine as a head coach. What was the formula? I think he went back, understood, and broke down exactly where in time uh, as the Steelers' head man that he succeeded and what he needed to put in place here in 2024 to reach that same um, formula, to get to that same goal at the end of reaching a Super Bowl, being able to compete for a Lombardi trophy. And I think he understood that he had to have steady, consistent quarterback play. I think he found that in Russell Wilson, but we'll, we'll dive into Russell a little bit more throughout the show. Uh, I think he did that, found that steady quarterback play. I think that he understood that he had to have a good run game with a solid offensive line. I think that he really um, put in the effort to make that happen, to really try to make that happen. I know injuries have bit the Steelers here a little bit uh, across the offensive line, but hopefully they will get healthy as the season progresses and the Steelers' run game will continue to get better. So I think he understood that, that he needed to have a solid ball control type run game uh, to really control that time of possession. I think he understood that he has to have a quarterback that has enough weapons around him, which he does in my eyes. I think through the tight end room, through what's in that wide receiver room, that there are enough weapons to hit those splash plays when needed. And I think Mike Tomlin understood that. I think he understood that he needs to have a top five defense to really be healthy and fresh and really be able to wreak havoc on opposing offenses. And I think he understood exactly what that equation uh, is, <laughs> put it all together, added it all up, and really tried to implement that plan. I think he understood that he had to have coaches from outside that have uh, that belief in the philosophy in which Mike Tomlin needs to have in place to be successful to where he understands. He has to bring in a guy like an Arthur Smith that really truly believes in the run game, that truly believes in playing the style of football that Mike Tomlin found success in playing. I think he realized that he needed to bring some coaches in from outside of the organization, which he did. Uh, I really, truly believe Mike Tomlin understood what was going on, and I really think that he did a lot of self-reflection here in the 2023, or after the 2023 season ended, 23-24 season ended, and really applied those lessons here to the 2024-2025 season. And what that is going to mean for the Pittsburgh Steelers, hopefully, is good things, and I think it's going to bring Mike Tomlin back to a place in which he knows and he's comfortable and uh, he's familiar with having success. Because right now, guys, I really truly think that Mike Tomlin has to get a winner here uh, in the back half of his career uh, to really put away all the doubt that he can't do it without with a team that he has built, uh, a team that he has his handprints all over. And I think that that is truly why I think that this is – uh, one of the last chances, the time is now for Mike Tomlin to get that done, to really go after and cement his legacy here in 2024 and capitalize off having a guy like a Russell Wilson, a guy that has won a Super Bowl, that's played in a couple, that understands how to get it done, 
to get back to that way of winning that he uh, found early in his career in Mike Tomlin. Uh, I think that he understood that. And hopefully that is enough for Mike Tomlin to really be motivated to uh, really want to go after this thing, to really change things up a little bit, to uh, go back to some of those things that he did oh so well. So that's what I really think about Mike Tomlin here in 2024. Uh, I really have high hopes that he has understood what was wrong, uh, adjusted, and really made a conscious effort to be better. So we'll see. We'll see. But I really, truly think that Mike Tomlin understood what was going on and what the deficiencies were. And I think he did understand how he had won in the past. And I think um, definitely that's going to make him better here in 2024, really evaluating what uh, he has done wrong and maybe what he needs to do better again and really try to repeat some of the success that he had had. So that's what you're wanting from a head coach. That's what you're wanting from players is self-reflection, identification of the issues, and really to push forward to uh, try to uh, get better each and every day. And I think Mike Tomlin has demonstrated some of that here this offseason by some of his moves. Uh, but let's move on to... To Russell Wilson and what I think Russell Wilson is bringing to this Steelers franchise and why I think that this is one of his last chances and one of his last times to go out there and cement his legacy uh, and really punch his ticket to Canton, Ohio. I think that Russell Wilson also was a guy that finds himself late in his career understanding, you know, hey, I, I got to get it done. It's kind of now or never. Um, and I think he really was another guy that did some self-reflection after last season. And he went to Denver, was trying to be somebody that he was, knew that he wasn't, playing in a system and playing in a way that he knew that he doesn't fit perhaps perfectly. And I think that he really went back and looked at the times that he had a lot of success in the NFL and really put those puzzle pieces together and looked throughout the league and found the Pittsburgh Steelers and Mike Tomlin and Omar Khan and talked to them and talked to players on this uh, roster, this fr inside of this franchise, and really found out that the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2024 were aiming to play that brand of football that Russell Wilson has found success in, that Russell Wilson knows, and that he definitely feels like he can shine and possibly get back to a championship level. And I think Russell Wilson understood, hey, I play best what? When? With a good defense, a top five defense, a defense that can go out there and really crack, man, and, and really lay the lumber to people and really be intimidating and be, again, that top five unit. I play well with an offense that has a steady offensive line with a good, solid run game. I play well on a football team that has a good action game. I play well with an offense that allows me to be able to throw the football 22 to 25 times a game. Allows me to really um, lean on that run game and control that time of possession. And allows me to hit those splash plays at the most opportune times. And if you look at Russell Wilson, you look at where he's been successful throughout his career and the scheme in place, the, the team surrounding him, and it really kind of fits what the Pittsburgh Steelers mold is. Then you add Mike Tomlin onto that, and when Russell Wilson and Mike Tomlin probably got together and started talking, they probably both identified that the style in which they've both succeeded at in the past is exactly what each other wants to do here in 2024 and why not join forces and why not try to take one last real run at this thing to gain that momentum back to perhaps you know go on a two three year run here and uh, really try to cement both of their legacies why not team up together Russell Wilson was going to make 38 million dollars guys whether he played football or not he was making that money so why not for the Pittsburgh Steelers? It makes super sense, uh, makes perfect sense to go out and sign a guy on a vet minimum deal and allow another team to pay for your possible um, playoff run. Why not? And people can say what they want about Russell Wilson's time in Denver. He went to a situation in which they wanted him to carry that franchise. Uh, 
that they needed him to carry that franchise. That was their hope. And that isn't what Russell Wilson is all about, guys. And I think that he literally identified that he was playing out of character there in Denver. And that's what brought him to the city of Pittsburgh. That's what brings him and Mike Tomlin here to their last chance to really take this thing and run with it, man. Um, So that's kind of my thoughts, guys, on Mike Tomlin, on Russell Wilson, and why I think that the time is now. The time is now for both of them. And that they've put themselves in perfect situations, whether some may think they're not, uh, I do. I think that they're. I think that they put themselves in a perfect situation. I think that they identified their deficiencies, identified where they've been successful in the past, and they formulated this game plan. And I think in which they can definitely execute if if they really continue down the road that they're going here, and really continue to stick with the plan, continue to attack it, and uh, just ride, man. Stay healthy. Hopefully health stays on the Steelers' side here. I know they've been nicked up on the offensive line right now, um, but hopefully they'll continue to get healthy throughout the season. Health always throws a wrench into everything. Um, So, yeah, with a little bit of luck on the health side, I think the Steelers can stay on this game plan, stay and maintain what they want to do here in 2024 and really have a real chance to go out there and kind of finalize and kind of um, really cement some legacies here for guys that uh, I believe are on their last few chances in trying to succeed and to really trying to shut up the the pundits and uh, really show people what they are all about and what they can do here uh, moving forward. So, That's it, man. That's where I wanted to go with this show today. Again, I appreciate you all for stopping through. Make sure you hit the shit out of that like button for us here. Share the show, guys. Please share the show to all your social medias. Uh, Really spread the word out there about Mike Drop Sports. We are cruising now. We're starting to gain those subscribers again. We're starting to move forward. Uh, So make sure that we uh, hit that 4,000 mark before September 8th. Uh, when the Pittsburgh Steelers go out there and take on the Atlanta Falcons, let's make sure that we get to that 4,000 mark. And uh, we are steaming toward, what, 3,600 right now. So I think we can definitely get about 400 and some subscribers from now until then. I think we could definitely hit that uh, that goal. And uh, with your help, we definitely can. So uh, share it, like it, do whatever you need to do. Uh, thank you for supporting the show. I appreciate all the super chats. Uh, I appreciate all the Mic Drop Mafia members. That's 99 cents a month. It'll always be 99 cents a month. Uh, I appreciate you guys so, so very much. And uh, we'll be back tonight with our live show. We like to call it Steel City Live uh, here on Mike Drop Sports. I'll be your host tonight. Uh, and I'm Jason. And again, this is Mike Drop Sports. Peace.